Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today we're making this adorable little sign for my baby's nursery. Of course you can modify this to make it say whatever you want and the style of it too to match your decor. I have these pieces of wood left over from an older project. I just used some black paint mixed with water to do the base coat and then I used some white Waverly chalk paint on top of that and sanded and distressed the wood so that that black would show through to make it more of a weathered look. And then I'm just using some paint stirring sticks that I cut to size with some wood glue to um, glue those together. And then that will take all night to glue, so if you don't want to wait, you can definitely add some staples or nails to the back of that to get it done quicker. So I'm just taking a piece of scrap paper, folding it in half and drawing that heart shape onto it, then cutting it out to use as a stencil on my sign. I always trace with a pencil first just to make sure I don't mess up, If that way if I do I can erase it and fix it. Um, and then I use my Posca paint pen. I'm using pink because I'm making this a pink heart. You definitely don't have to do this. You could just paint it in, but I find it easier to follow the lines or stay in the lines when I have a bright colored guide, I guess. I got these Posca paint pens from Amazon a long time ago and they're lasting me forever. Um, they're super good quality. But I know there's a lot of other brands out there now that I'm sure are just as good. So as you can see here, I'm using a smaller brush with an angled edge just to get um, the outline of the heart. It just is easier for me and then I'm just using that bigger brush to fill in. I did end up using two coats just to really get good coverage I guess but also because of the brush strokes I don't like how that looks so I just went ahead and did two coats and then once that dried I'm using my electric sander to distress it a little bit and you can always use um, regular sandpaper but that's just easier for me and then I have these two stencils from Walmart I'm using one to write the words isn't she and then I'm using the prettier one a little bit more fancy stencil to write the word lovely so it's gonna say isn't she lovely for my baby's nursery and I just love that saying I think it's so cute and then of course you will see my boyfriend Zach walking by the whole time um, he was making spaghetti I know a lot of people just lay the stencil down and then dab the paintbrush over it. Um, I don't like to do that. I like to use my pencil first and then my paint pen and then if the letters are big enough I'll fill them in with an actual paintbrush. That's just my preference. Um, I tend to find that with these plastic type stencils that if you just dab the paint on top it'll bleed through. Um, around the edges and make it a little more uh, I guess sloppy looking but if you don't if you're not worried about that you can definitely do that but I find this way it just gives me the ability to make the letters a little more crisp if I had a sticker stencil I would just dab the paint on top but unfortunately these are not so it does take a little bit more work to do it this way but I just love the outcome a little bit more I am using my black Posca paint pen for this. Um, if you guys know of any really good brands of paint pens, let me know down in the comments below um, because I am starting to run out of some of these and I do want to try a different brand just because these are a little bit pricey. I want to thank all my new subscribers for joining us. I'm so excited. We have almost reached 200 subscribers. Just about, I think, five more to go. Um, so if you guys would just keep sharing my videos, I appreciate it. Um, once we get to those 200 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So comment down below what you guys would like to get in the giveaway. If you'd like to get something that I've made or maybe some crafting supplies, let me know what you guys think.
I am just so in love with how this turned out. If you guys like it too, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I also want to thank everyone for such sweet comments about my beautiful family. My baby girl just turned 7 months old and I can't wait to hang this up in her nursery once she finally has her own bedroom. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family if you think they'd like it too. Bye!